Welcome back. Let's keep learning about uh, some of the rules of inheritance here. In the last video, we talked about how you can take your fields and you can set access like public, private, or protected. Well, the same goes for your methods. Now, one method in your class is your constructor. You don't have a choice on this one. It has to be public so people can use it to construct instances of that class. But all your other methods you can choose public, private, or protected depending on what your uh, goals are and what you want to let the end user do with your methods. So same as the variables. You'll see here I have all the methods right now public. But I have this method called stuff that just prints out stuff. Now remember I am in the person class. When I go to my runner, I'm going to actually try to get the student to use that method stuff that was written in the person class. And so I've already made a student here, student called Hazel, and I'm going to say, Hazel, try to run the stuff method, and you know what? I could run it for you. It is going to work. There's no errors here. All is good. But look at what happens when I change the axis here, and I just change this to private. Technically, they say this method will no longer be inherited. Now, it is technically sort of there in memory. It's part of the object, but you don't have any access to it. It actually treats it as if it's not even written. Check out the error. It says, cannot find symbol method stuff. It doesn't even say, oh, it's private, you can't use it. It just says, yeah, Hazel doesn't have that. Okay, So that's why they say, it, technically, it's not inherited. Okay, Now, what happens if we change it to protected? Well, you could make this protected, which I think is probably the best choice, if you want all the subclasses to be able to use it. So if you want person to use stuff, student to use stuff, and exchange student to use stuff, then a nice access would be protected. It goes down the entire chain. And then you can see in my runner here, Hazel can use stuff. And we can even get our exchange student Rico to use stuff as well. And there's no problems there. And so same as the variables. Those are the three you get to use. And the next video, we're going to talk about another keyword called final that you're able to apply as well. So uh, let's keep learning the rules here for inheritance. There's not too many, and we'll see you in the next video.